That's it. So I don't fear nothing. That's a meal. My boy just hit up whole milli. Big dog! I'm still the man in the family. <laughs> King Kong ain't got shit on me, boy. Soft teams lose. My first high school game today. Mikey! Oh, oh. As soon as the game started, it was a scramble. Oh, yeah. I'm about to punch this. Nope, dead legs. Game just started. I don't know what was wrong with him, but he was supposed to make it. We wasn't supposed to let the other team score. Overload right away and go zone A. After that, Kaylin caught a dunk. My shot was falling. And the next play, <laughs> Kaylin's a senior. You know, he's a big part of the team. I know I had to step up and be that guy. Dad in the crowd telling me to get my shot higher. I mean, he almost looking like me. I had to put the team on my back. I don't want to see them score in this quarter. You're good enough to stop them from scoring. We gave up 21. That's a little too much. I had 25 in the first. Second half, we just ran it up. We got easy buckets, fast breaks, everybody was flowing, playing together, we clicked. I was at least trying to get 40. I dropped 43 points, the other team dropped 46 points. Almost outscored the whole team. That was a good start to the season. Pro guys in good hands with Mikey. And we got the media coverage here. It's never been like this. And during the game, I was just in kill mode. But to play your first high school game in your hometown, in your home school. Very fun, you know, to put on for my city. To be able to do that for my first game, you know, hopefully uh, play my last game here too. It's my city and I'm always put on. Marvin, hurry up. Where are we going? We're going to cut that nasty fur off your head. It looks like your dad. I call shotgun. Marvin is 12. He's a little different from me, just off the fact that, you know, he doesn't leave the house. You know, when I was his age, I was always running around everywhere. It's really because he'd be on Fortnite all day. That's his dream to be like me. It's my guy Larry House. He got a barbershop in his garage. He called it the man cave. I've been coming here for literally forever. It didn't look like this though. This ain't like a barbershop. It's home in here. I probably didn't dunk on everybody at this house right now. You dunk on me? <laughs> <laughs> what are you dunk on? Kelvin. <laughs> Kelvin, look at your socks. <laughs> hold, hold up, hold up. I love coming here. You know, you get the barbershop laugh, conversation about sports. Like any other barbershop, the difference is it's more of a home environment. And everything in here, boom, you gonna see this cat. Ali, all day long. I think my life is like a lot funner than everybody else. It's more than just who. It's like the behind the scenes stuff you don't see. Go, Marvin. It beat that tyrant. <laughs> uh, oh, why would you, Marvin? No, oh, my. <laughs> Marvin, do a windmill. Or 360. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh bro. You, no, you were adopted, Marvin. You were adopted. Everybody asks me what kind of haircut I got. Tell you, Barber, to give you the MW1. Marvin, Marvin, let's get it. I'm like always gone, so I don't really get to spend time with kind of any of my family. My basketball schedule is kind of crazy. Not a lot of people get it. Three, four hour practices, three, four games, two days during AU season, workouts. A lot of people really don't understand it, but it's a life that I live to put my family in a better position. Man, that's a graveyard of rims back there right now from the last time. I broke like six hoops over here. There's so much memories at this place that will last forever. <laughs> I'm glad I got to spend some time with him today. He's not representing the family like he should be getting dunked on. Every time he picks up a basketball, you... that's my little bro, uh, family. If for some reason everything to me. Move. Give me that, D. Let me see that. Let him know, Mark. It was too easy. I get buckets like that. If Mark keep it up, he'll be nice one day. I got Montana 300 put up on me. Let's go, see. If you don't know Montana 300, you better YouTube him.
He said, keep the green on me like a Jets jersey. Tell the opposition I ain't never worried. Keep the 30 on me like I'm Stephen Curry. Hey, that was hard. Hey, what's good? It's your boy Montana, 300 man, rap guy at FG. I just pulled up to San Diego to check my boy Mikey Williams out, man. It's gonna be a movie. That's a fact. We play against Mission Bay tonight. 2,000 people in the gym. How many you gonna give me tonight, man? Yeah, 40 ball. 40 ball? Woo! A couple months ago, Montana told me to send him my schedule. Two days before the game, I told him, yo, come out. You know, me and Brandon gonna play it back to back. He was like, I'm with it, I'll be there tomorrow. I flew from Chicago. North Carolina, I just did press run, North Carolina, South Carolina. And then uh, instead of going back home, flew on out. He ain't nowhere near my age or nothing like that, but you know, he's hanging out with me. Shout love to the young boys. I'm gonna get some footage today for this music video. Montana's not the only one that shows love. Drake shows love. Drake's commented on a few of my posts. Lil Dirk shows love. Actually posted me in one of his pictures along with Melo, Zaire, and Brandy. And he said if we wasn't in it, or for light music video, then he wasn't gonna release it. It's cool, you know, seeing rappers give back to the youth. We busting out our pink unis today, though. We got some pink Some pink joints? Get them crazy. Even though I'm hanging out with one of my favorite rappers today, still gotta go out and get the dub tonight. We've been in this line for like three hours. How much is y'all buy one ticket for? 200. We playing Mission Bay. We just gotta go out and play like C drum. It's a way different crowd. It's way bigger than the last game. D Wade came out, Gabrielle Union came out, just the whole city was there. This is us coming out in our hot ass uniforms with our hot ass shoes on and showing this sleepy ass town. What's really going on? D-Wade's here. He's a mentor to me. I knew I had to come out hot. This team was talking reckless all week on social media. I was feeling it. My f***ing city! He didn't think I was going to shoot it. As soon as he took a step back, clipped it right in his mouth. Even though I was on fire, Mission Bay came back strong. Oh. We was in a dog fight. I just knew I had to turn it up another notch. Move, Prince! I had to tell Prince to move if he ain't going to box up. I had to let him know twice. You know, I'm putting the body on someone, you out the way because I'm coming down the lane. If you ain't got a body on someone, get the hell out of the way, I'm going to come dunk that shit. Jerry had a layup, and I knew if he missed it, I was going to go get it. Everything was good till the other team started fouling. Chat, chat, chat! Come on, ref! Ref, come on, man! Foul after foul after foul. Hold on, get your game! 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 Get I was calling a timeout because he realized what I was trying to do. Bro, this basketball is good. Take your time, Jack. Take that and get the 40. Right now it's halftime, it's 48 35. I think he had like 18 of their first 22 points. I'm going crazy from the three. Controlling the game, under control, playing at his own pace. Killer, man. Y'all got what, four years of this? Just, just him growing and developing, becoming a new monster is going to be crazy, man. After I hit the shot, Tope from Compton Magic called me over. He told me I had a 48. Next play, I got the ball. The rest is history. I had to walk over that D way. It's 50. That's 50. Amazing grace. How sweet. Good job, Mikey. The sound that saved hey, oh, oh, so like, like me. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
am found was blind but now that game sent the message you know i'm living up to the hype everybody puts on me do you like a lot of turkey or a little bit The ladies cooking up in the kitchen. The boys in the garage talking that talk. But ain't no Williams Thanksgiving without a hoop session. I don't care how young you are, how old you are, you can get this work. Give me that. Give me that. Look, bro. You suck. <laughs> don't do it, mom. Sorry, mom, but when you step in between those lines, there ain't nothing to me. No, no. Mom, 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 mom. Mom. You shouldn't listen to Marvin. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah! Do that to your mama. Disrespect. My mom found some letters I wrote to her and my dad from like years ago. Well, so, first one of these letters that my mom put out to my dad. Um, let me read it. It says, Happy Father's Day. Dad, I hope you take me to the gym. I'm sorry for playing basketball in the house. My punishment is 60 seconds in my room. <laughs> so last one to mom. When is the next time you are off of work? I want you to take me to the gym for two hours. Can I work on jumpers, layups, and free throws, and ball handles, and crossovers too? <laughs> Can't believe she still had those. I always knew I had love for the game since I was a kid. I definitely need my family. They for sure keep real me. That's what family's supposed to do, you know, push you to be the best you can be. <laughs> Overall, we had a great time. This is definitely a Thanksgiving I'm gonna remember forever. Next episode, I'll see you Left, left, right, left. We get to rent a house on the base. On top. Mike is gonna go for 50 on these boys. Number 12 says he's gonna hold 15 on us. Ah! Mike and William scared to get on the Ferris wheel? Yes. <laughs> oh, don't do that. I'm not doing that. Yo, they didn't give me that. Don't you gotta tell somebody to click something? You're right. <laughs> Look below the video to cop that new gear. Check out these videos right here because they for y'all. And subscribe. Stop playing with us.